we're here to watch more Game of Thrones. Um, and to be honest, I've made you guys wait long enough, so let's just fucking get into it, hey. We're here to watch two episodes. We're gonna do episodes one and two of season six. Arya's blind. Sansa hopefully has escaped with Reek. We're yet to find out, but I'm assuming so because we would have seen them die otherwise. John, I'm holding firm on my prediction from the end of season five, and that is that Lady Melisandre is gonna bring us back to life the same way that other guy got brought back to life, life in an earlier season. Daenerys has now been captured, I think. Yeah, there's just a load of questions that I'm excited to find out the answers to. Oh, and Cersei, I'm pretty sure she's gonna probably get her revenge this season. And fucking hell, Marjorie and Loras, we still don't know what's happening with them. So many things to figure out. Let us do it. Before we do, quick shout out to the patrons. Thank you so much for being over there. Thanks for choosing to support the channel. It does not go unnoticed. Every episode of Game of Thrones is up there already. So obviously like so far. And every episode I do do, wow, gets put up there two or three days in advance sometimes. So if you want to watch the full episodes, because obviously a good bit does get cut out, then they're all over there. Um, obviously there's more than 50 episodes over there now, so there's a lot. I have a second channel, Bit More Brad, where I post content besides reactions. Very fun stuff. I've started doing gameplays. I do hauls and reviews. My podcast, Morning Glory, also gets put over there, um, obviously for you to watch visually. And it's also available on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify. My brand, Bow by Brad, um, that's obviously now launched. There's a bunch of stuff over there. Some erotic artwork, some normal artwork, some t-shirts. Check it out if you want. Type in just Bow by Brad and it'll take you there. So, yes! If you're new, subscribe, please. Thank you. I'm here often. Let's go. I was just about to do the Netflix thing. Oh, so sorry. Come on then. Oh, and the white is, I'm sure they're gonna make more moves this season, fucking hell. I want to see Bran again. We didn't see him at all last season. I want to know where he's at. We're at the wall, so okay, we're gonna get a get a thing with John here. Unless we get a funeral and see him burn, I'm not believing any of it. Oh, is that gonna be his wolf fucking howling? Because it, it can probably sense something's wrong. I'm sorry, I still can't get over that. That was the biggest fat fucking gag ever. All of them just stabbed him. Wait, his blood kind of looks like a wolf or am I tripping? <laughs> Maybe it doesn't like a, look like a wolf. It kind of looked like a wolf to me then. Maybe I'm being stupid, I think. Yeah, hello queen. Can you notice please? Thank you. It's kind of bold though that they didn't they didn't, like, they just left him there. Like, surely, wouldn't they want to have, like, burnt his body? <laughs> Wait, that was showing me something, but I wasn't sure what. I'm sure through editing I'll have looked at that longer, so I'll, I'll put in here if I found anything, or, like, could see anything. I can't see a thing. <laughs> and I've been staring at this thing for a while, and I, I can't see anything. So I guess if you guys know, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Why do we need to touch the blood? You know? Well, he's definitely dead, isn't he? I think he's gonna get brought back. I do. How many of your brothers do you think you can trust? Trust? Fucking none of them. A whole ass bunch of them were in on this. Devils. Red Lady, I'm telling you now, she said to him that he was special. Do you know when she was trying to like get all, get all up in him? She can sense things. We need you, I think. If anyone's gonna be able to, oh, you know, it's gonna be her. Like, look, she's devastated. Not because she found him attractive, because he means something. I saw him in the flames, fighting at Winterfell. And I, I tr truly do believe that's the reason why Stannis was meant to lose, because she was meant to be back there. Come on, Diva. 
Don't, don't, please don't make me look like a fool. <laughs> you all know why you're here. Jon Snow is dead. Who killed him? I did. The other officers in this castle. Murderer! Yeah. Literally. Literally. All right. We've committed treason, all of us. Jon Snow was my Lord Commander. I had no love for him. You don't say. Oh, we fucking know. Yeah, we fucking know. You've always been an asshole. But I never once disobeyed an order. No, instead of, like, you know, taking his orders, you decided to kill him instead because you couldn't stand it. Jon Snow was going to destroy the Night's Watch. How? He let the wildlings through our gates, as no Lord Commander has ever done before. Pause. Pause. We'll be having less of that, first and foremost. Because realistically, do you think that th th this whole dynamic has been working that's, like thus far? Or do you reckon maybe some things have to have to change? Things have to grow and evolve? Yes, he let the wildlings through. Do they do anything? No, they're seeking refuge. That's it. We all want to be safe here. The whiteys are coming. Okay? I fucking hate people like him. Hate them. Narrow-minded bastards that can't see past their own narrative. And can't see when things need to change, like and when traditions no longer serve, you know? Fucking hate it. Anyway, continuing. And what he thought was right would have been the end of us. In your opinion! <sighs> he thrust a terrible choice upon us, and we made it. Like, this is all subjective to him. This is all what he thinks. Like, you don't know any of this for sure. There's no way of knowing for sure. Unless you let something play out. We all die today. I say we do our best to take Thorn with us when we go. We need to fight. Who is gonna help us? You're not the only ones who owe your lives to Jon Snow. The Wildlings. Bolt the door. Don't let anyone in. I'll be back as soon as I can. It's the Wildlings, right? They, they, I'm sorry, if anyone's gonna come and help us here, it would be the wildlings, seen as he allowed them refuge. Otherwise, they all would have either been killed and turned back in that fucking attack of the whiteys. She's smart of dog. Oh, is that Miranda? I'm glad she finally got a fucking comeuppance. She was needing it. Your pain will be paid for a thousand times over. We'll fucking see about that. I wish you could be here to well, yeah, because she'd love that. She'd get off on it, because you're both sick fuckers. This is good meat. Feed her to the hands. That's what he does to someone who he's fond of, you know? He's going to feed her to the hounds. We no longer have Sansa Stark. You played your games with her. You played your games with the heir to the Iron Islands, and now they're both gone. I have a team of men after them with some of my best hounds. They won't get far. Oh God, oh God. Without Sansa, you won't be able to produce an heir. And without an heir? You're nothing. You're excrement! You're nothing to him. He's got another heir on the way. Let's hope the maces are right. And Lady Walder's carrying a boy. Oh, they're still alive, yay! <laughs> we need to find Brienne. And Pod. Not that Pod's any use, but like, they'll help us, I feel. We have to cross here. Oh, are you gonna catch your death? Oh! It's too cold, I can't. I won't make it, I'll die. I've seen what his hounds do to a person. This way is better. You'd rather die in some freezing cold fucking water and catch hypothermia and pneumonia than have those bastards mangle at you. Oh! Ooh! Oh, it's a chill, isn't it? <clears throat> I can only imagine. <sighs> if Theon helps get her to safety, I, I, I do see myself starting to forgive him for some of the fucked up bullshit he's done, you know? <laughs> we need to get naked. Body heat, guys, body heat. I'll know them away. No, I won't make sure that. Go north. John is Lord Commander of Castle Black. He's dead. As of right now. He'll help you. 
Oh my god, guys, I'm stressed the fuck out. I am so stressed. Is Theon gonna fucking... <laughs> Theon sacrificing himself? Where is Lady Bolton? Dead. Liar. I left her to die in the snow. <laughs> we need some... We need some help. We need some help. <laughs> Guys, we need some help. I can't wait to see what part Ramsey cuts off you this time. Oh, you sick fuck! You sick fucker! Oh. <laughs> Brian, is it Brian? Yeah! Come on, baby, slice them! It's a bloody woman. <laughs> And I've got no doubt in my mind that Brienne can sort these motherfuckers, I tell you that. No doubt in my mind. And she has been training Pod a little bit, hasn't she? So he knows how to give it some as well. I'm sweating, oh my god, I'm sweating my ass off. Die, motherfucker! Oh, she did that. <laughs> yes, Pod! Holding his own! What the fuck? I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I feel like that was lucky. That was lucky, I feel like. Stab him! Stab him! Oh, yeah, baby. We're not wasting no time, are we? Theon, Theon got a, yeah, Theon got a knife, knew it. Stunning. Snaps. Fucking period. And that, see, that's what I need. And that's what I wanted. Oh, I feel good. Bet you wish you'd trusted her before, hey? Lady Sansa, I offer my services once again. I will shield your back and keep your counsel and give my life for yours if need be. We're taking that. We are. We're in no position to say otherwise. No position, right? And I vow that you shall always have a place by my heart. What does Y-E-S spell? Yes. Oh, guys, why could I cry? Arise. I really love some of these characters. Like, it's, it's like a lot for me. If she does want to fuck up some of these religious bastards, I would be totally on board with that, right? I would, because it's fucked up. A ship from Dawn has sailed into the harbour. Marcella. Oh no, this is gonna set her off. This is gonna set her the fuck off. And this is the thing, Marcella was innocent, you know? And realistically, on, on, on reflection, what Miss Thing did, obviously with the lipstick and whatnot, realistically, it was very much unjustified because I had mentioned prior, I think, that obviously Oberyn did get himself in that situation. Yeah, so on reflection, I don't necessarily agree with maybe some things that I said at the end of last season, right? It is quite sad that another one of her kids have, have had to die because of the actions of like the rest of their family, you know? It's not right, she has to suffer alone. She's not suffering, she's gone. She was good. Like realistically, these these characters are obviously massively flawed, but fuck me, like I'm, I am feeling for them. It's not, it's not nice for anybody to lose a child, you know? The seven hells brim with the souls of saintly men. Here we fucking go. For now they see, if not for a single sin they concealed, they were saved. Babe, save your breath. I don't give a fuck. The love between a man and wife is sacred, and only confession can purge sin. I have nothing to confess. So you believe you are pure? I believe that gay is fine. I, I do believe that. Yeah, so in that sense, I'm, I'm completely sinless, to be honest. Holy without sin. I never saw. Our beliefs don't align, my guy. What's not clicking? What's not clicking? So one thing you might see as a sin, Babes, I don't at all, okay? And I think that's th th there's something to be said here, right? All these characters are obviously being made to serve 
by the same rules, you know? It's not how life works, my darling. Both men from every country lay with the most beautiful women alive. And men. He's got no idea what's coming to him, does he? <laughs> like, they're gonna have brought bullshit to Dawn, I tell you that. Your mother is a brilliant woman, you know that. Prince Dora. Ooh! It just says she's a wonderful woman and then we're gonna get this news. The Princess Marsana. <laughs> What in the world is this? I did not see this happening. When was the last time you left this palace? You don't know your own people. They're disgust for you. All, all these people are just stood by and watching. You're not a Dornish man. You're not our prince. My son, Tristan. I am shook. Your son is weak, just like you. And weak men will never rule Dorne again. Loki, I'm sorry. The thing is, I'm always gonna root for a bad bitch in whatever capacity that is, right? I might not agree with everything that she's done, necessarily. Right? 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 But he was kind of a boring prince, in my opinion. We're here to kill you. You want her to do it? Or me? Oh, fuck. We are family. I don't want to hurt you. Her or me? I don't believe, Tristane, that you could hurt these women. They seem very slay and sickening to me. You. Good. Oh, fucking disgusting. Oh, that was fucking disgusting. I low-key saw that coming, I'm not gonna lie. You're a greedy bitch, you know that? <laughs> but... <laughs> I used to steal from people like you when I was a boy. It's a good thing you're not a boy anymore, because you have no cock. Oh god, excuse me. Just because my appendage is gone doesn't mean I'm any less of a man. Eoha, eh, eh, prosa. Prosa. She thinks you want to eat her baby. <laughs> That's wild, isn't it? <laughs> Sons of the Harpy planned their attack in the fighting pits very carefully, which means they take orders from someone. That was wild, that. I still think that him that we, um, Daenerys was going to marry, I still think he had something to do with it. I do. Oh, it was a fucking fire. Shit. He won't be sailing to Westeros anytime soon. Oh, shit, it's all the ships. They fucking burnt all your ships. Brillo. Okay, now you two need to find that fucking ring that she dropped, right? Because she was smart there. She thought on her feet. She's left her a little trail. Not much of a trail, but still it's something, isn't it? Isn't it frustrating? Wanting someone who doesn't want you back. Of course it is. We can calm down with this, right, Jora? I like you and I think you're a great asset. We can calm down on the whole fancying Daenerys portion. An army? Not an army. A horde. Oh, well, there you go. I guess that, that kind of says everything. But surely if they are Dothraki, like, I don't know if they'll want to hurt her. Because that's kind of where she began, isn't it? Ta-da! They have her. It's a lot of fucking people, isn't it? Jesus Christ. <laughs> and she's been made to walk. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's bad. Okay, it's bad. Stunning. Oh God. I'm so sick of pompous assholes. I have to like, I have to re-get in the mood, you know what I mean? Like every time we start a new season, I'm like, oh God. <laughs> so I'm just trying not to pop off because it's kind of wasted energy, you know? Like they're, like, they're all gonna be like it. There's so many pompous, arrogant pricks in this show. <laughs> They don't know that she's Daenerys, right? Period. 
I've got fucking dragons, how? You don't want to mess with me. <laughs> Are they just not going to believe her? Because that would be really stupid. No, and no, that's not going to happen. And you're going to be sorely mistaken, my guy. All right, Queen, we get it, you're jealous. Stop! I know, Queen, I was there, all right? Get your massac and have on his soul. Oh, now, now, now we've got respect. The fuck? That's called Drivoy. I said, Kachi, Hale Sisa, and my. Why is the frack? A tira, Shahis, me, my Haliniosa, Hali Drivi. No, thank you. No, thank you. Sorry. I'm okay. I'll leave out my days anywhere else, to be honest. God, guys, that's wild. Are you listening, blind girl? Oh. Do you hear them talking? Do any of them talk to you? No. So sad. I feel like her losing her sight is gonna make her better because she's actually got to listen and like use other senses, you know? I can't see. Well, that's your problem, not mine. <coughs> oh my fucking God. Oh my fucking God. I don't like this. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, fucking hell! To be fair, if she can learn to master like being slay while blind, like she's gonna be unstoppable, you know? See you tomorrow. Cause uh, do you reckon they're able to give her a sight back or is it gone now? <laughs> Let the wolf at him, that's what I say. Let the fucking wolf have him. <laughs> give it a good meal. I will grant amnesty to all brothers who throw down their arms before nightfall. And you, Sir Davos, I will allow you to travel south. A free man. Why would I believe a word you fucking say? Surrender by nightfall, or this ends with blood. Thank you, Sir Alistair. We'll discuss amongst ourselves and come back to you with an answer. I'm not listening to a word this motherfucker says, right? I don't give a fuck. You're clearly someone that only cares about your own interest, okay? You'll kill anybody. We open that door. And they'll slaughter us all. There's always the red woman. What's one redhead gonna do against 40 armed men? You haven't seen her do what I've seen her do. Come on, I hope she flexes a little bit. I would love to see it, right? It's about fucking time. Like, yeah, she's puffed, puffed a bit of smoke out of a hoo-ha, but I would like to see a bit more, right? We're gonna get nude. To be honest, we've not seen no tits this episode, so makes sense. Breasts. <laughs> what the fuck is that? That's not her. Hey! Hey! Is she actually old? Old maiden. And she uses this fucking. Whatever, is it this thing that she had around her neck? Like, does that keep her looking young? What the fuck? Guys, that's wild. I had no idea. <clears throat> well, guys, next fucking episode. That was a great start to the season, I have to say. A really good start to the season. Oh, this show's just so good. Anyway, moving on, episode two, let's do it. <laughs> Are we finally back with Bran? Fuck, yes! It's about time, God. Can that man get out of the tree? Or is it just like, that's where he resides? Because he looks bound to it, doesn't he? Oh, fuck. We're like... We're walking it out. 
Give him another go, Ned. Are you going to spar with when Ned goes off to the Eyrie? What about him? Willis, come here. Oh, I was like, fuck, I can I see him? Hodor? But he's got giant blood. That's Hodor. Benji always lifts his chin when he's about to charge. And lowers it when he's going to dodge my lady. <laughs> Hodor talks. Well, what happened to him? Why does he no longer talk? It is time to go. Please, a little longer. Oh, Bran's really growing up, isn't he? Wow. He looks so old. I saw you as a boy. You could talk. What happened? Hold on. He can't tell us. What the fuck? I want to hear from Willis. Where's Mira? Hold on. What does Hodor actually mean? Because obviously that's, now we know that's not, that's not his fucking name. So what does Hodor mean? Oh, so many questions. I saw that Hodor wasn't always Hodor. Hodor. His real name is Willis. And he could talk and fight and, and then. She's lost her brother, mate. She's probably not in the mood. What's wrong? Although to be fair, it's, it feels kind of weird to now be back at these people thinking about issues that happened over a season ago, you know? The Three-Eyed Raven says there's a war coming. And we're going to fight it in there. Like you'd expect after a season between like events, you'd expect like people to have kind of like not moved on per se, but like would have like grieved. So it feels weird now to be back here, obviously seeing her feel sad still. Open the door and the men inside can rejoin their brothers in peace. We'll even set the wolf free north of the wall where it belongs. I don't fucking believe you, right? I don't believe you. And if you hurt Ghost, I'll fucking hurt you. Oh no, I don't like it. If it, guys, all I want is for Ghost to be okay. I don't really care about these humans. <laughs> To me, it's ghost. <laughs> the wildlings. Are the wildlings gonna be back? The giant! There's a fucking giant, right? <laughs> fucking period! Who's destroyed the night watch now, baby? You. Fight you, cowards! <laughs> you have to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Do you really think that's gonna take down a giant, you nutcase? <laughs> <laughs> that is so embarrassing. You fucking traitor. The only traitors here are the ones who shoved their knives into their Lord Commander's hearts. Period. Say it a fucking again. Thousands of years, the Night's Watchers held Castle Black against the Wildlings. Until you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Kill the kid. <laughs> I, I supported Charlie when he did what he did with Ygritte, right? No, not so much. See, look, the wild things aren't even fucking killing them. What does that fucking tell you? High and mighty Queen Cersei. Sits and arse jiggling in the breeze. I've never been shy and I'm blessed hands out, so I put it right out. If the Lannisters didn't have much respect from obviously the people before, they really don't care for them now, you know? She sees it and I swear to the gods, she licks her lips. What's happening here? What's happening here? Why are we watching a man piss? Sir Gregor? That is absolutely wild. He just smashed that man's head against the wall and dead instantly. Uh, that's so scary. I dread to think what it looks like under there. 
Get out of my way. King's orders, your grace. He would like you to remain in the Red Keep. You're barring me from attending my own daughter's funeral. This is the thing. She doesn't need, like, she doesn't need to necessarily abide by anyone's rules now because she's got him. Oh shit, and she, she, but she is. Gag. Have we caught Prince Tristane's killers? I expect it was mother. Your mother wouldn't do that. Yes, she would. She would, but it wasn't. <laughs> Are you angry with her? Of course not. Then why didn't you let her come? He told me she wouldn't be allowed in the sept. If she had tried- I'm not putting your mother in a cell ever again. She's made it so fucking Marjorie and Loras have been put away. You know? He's allowed to be mad with her. Are you fucking kidding? Like, he loves Marjorie. When the faith militant sees her and Marjorie, what did I do? Oh, well, yeah, that also did fuck all. He's feeling shame and guilt. It's like fear about the best of you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mother weird. Goose. <laughs> Your sister sought the gods' mercy and atoned for her sin. What about my sins? Well, careful, Jamie. I'm sure they won't be afraid putting, afraid with you putting you, yeah, putting you away. What atonement do I deserve? You would spill blood in this holy place. Yeah. Yeah, Miss Diva. Some people deserve it. Go on then. I deserve it. Period. We are weak, vain creatures. We live only by the mother's mercy. No, we don't. <laughs> <sighs> this shit, this whole religious thing that they've brought in here, it's really boring to me. Just because, like, most of the time, especially with what we see in media or the loudest parts of re religion in normal life, I just feel like it's never used to benefit anybody. Like, I, I've said before that, like, religion can be used in such a beautiful way and, like, believing in something is innately beautiful. But it's the way people use it and it's the same thing here. Like, they're, they're abusing in order to justify doing awful things to people was the end of that. I don't know why I didn't finish that, that thought, but there we go. I'm sorry for keeping you here. I didn't want to lose you again. I understand. It wouldn't hurt Cersei here to actually apologize to Tommen. Low key. I should have pulled down the sept onto the High Sparrow's head before I let them do that to you. She would have, for me, help me, always. She's got, a... see, I do think that Cersei should have apologized just then. Like, he, he had every right to be mad with Cersei. Obviously, he doesn't necessarily know this, but she she made it so, obviously, Marjorie got put away. Like, he's allowed to be mad. Where's his apology? Dragons do not do well in captivity. How do you know this? That's what I do. It's what I live for. I drink and I know things. <laughs> Period. <laughs> I love Tyrion, always have. They must be unchained or they'll waste away. We're gonna let them go. Sunday. how many times were you in the company of these dragons? Oh, many times. And did they ever harm you? We're gonna ask Miss Sunday to... <coughs> oh, scary. They have affection for their friends and fury for their enemies. I am their friend. Do they know that? They will. I mean, I'm all for this. Like, more dragons, please. I'm ready for some real growth. I'd be already talking to me. I'd be saying, hi, it's just me. It's me, Tyrion. I mean, you know how I may actually come say hello and good day. I'm your mum's new friend. Okay, I won't be walking into the fucking abyss like that. Are you kidding? Oh, yeah. oh, scary, scary. Uh <laughs> Whoa, that looks like a growth spurt to me. Does that's your? They didn't look like that last season, in my opinion, from what I remember. I'm friends with your mother. <laughs> He's got big balls. He, to be doing this? When I was a child. They're incredible. Asked what gift I wanted for my name day. I begged him for one of you. Guys, they're beautiful. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. So they're so scary though, why do they have to be so scary? My father told me the last dragon had died a century ago. But here you are. This is insane. This is madness. Let's not, let's not do anything crazy though, right? Let's, let's... 
Well, they'll appreciate that, right? Yeah, I don't imagine they'll be mean to us because he's literally undoing their chains. <laughs> Well, Slay. Next time I have an idea like that, punch me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. Fuck me, that was intense. Lord Jesus. Oh, God, we're back with Aria. I'm not ready for another beating. I'm simply not. <laughs> fucking hell, here she is with a twig. What's your name? No one. No one, babes. Absolutely fucking no one. I don't believe that. But guys, this isn't enjoyable, is it? <laughs> Fucking hell! I've had it. Enough. <laughs> Who are you? Oh my god, babes. You can keep asking me. The answer's always going to be the fucking same. I keep saying no one and no one's believing me! A girl has no name. If a girl says her name, the man will give her eyes back. So we can give her eyes back. Oh my god, fucking pussy and sickening. A girl has no name. Oh, I'm, I'm stressed. D is, has she passed the fucking test? Because at this point, who knows? Who the fuck knows? Leave it. A girl is not a beggar anymore. <sighs> god, I tell you what, they really, they really give and take a bit, don't they? Lady Walder has given birth. A boy, red-cheeked and healthy. My congratulations, Lord Bolton. She's had a fucking boy. Oh God, that's he doesn't he doesn't need Ramsay anymore, does he? Congratulations, father. I look forward to meeting my new brother. Ramsay's gonna have to really keep him sweet here because he could just be out on his ass. It could. You'll always be my firstborn. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose he probably knew that it was only a matter of time now that he's got an heir that he's not going to need you anymore. Send ravens to all the northern houses. Roose Bolton is dead. Poisoned by our enemies. And I mean, he's going to kill that girl, that woman, Walder, is that her name? And the child. Gone. Telling you now. Ramsay, where is your father? Uh, that is correct. Oh my fucking God. What am, what am I actually doing? He's your brother. I prefer being an only child. Okay, work. That is fucking disgusting. What happened at Winterfell? Oh God, babes, you don't even want to ask. Fucking hell. Trenches, right? I should have gone with you while I had the chance. We shouldn't be lighting fires. It's not safe. We just have to make it to Castle Black. Once we're with John Ramsay, he won't be able to touch us. Well, John's dead. When you take the black, all your crimes are forgiven. I don't want to be forgiven. I can never make amends to your family for the things I've done. To be honest, at least at least he's accepting that he's fucked up bad, you know? At least the that. I would have taken you all the way to the wall. I would have died to get you there. See, this is the thing, it's like, obviously there's nothing that's going to change, obviously, his actions. But it is at least nice to see that he's like, although it's been a grueling process, figured, like, figured out his wrongdoings. Where will you go? Home. Oh, lordy. That doesn't seem safe, does it? Or is he going to die now? Let it pass, you fool. Move aside for your king. Haven't I always, brother? Who is that? Your own brother. Oh, it's, oh, his, it's brother. his brother. I heard you lost your mind, tied you to the mast to keep you from jumping overboard. And when the storm passed, you cut out their tongue. I needed silence. Okay, he sound. He sounds. Sounds a bit gone up there, you know. Okay, so we've got another fucker coming into the story. Wonderful. What kind of an ironborn loses his senses during a storm? I am the storm, brother. God complex boots I'm gathering. And you're in my way. Alright, kill him then. Go on. Not mad, didn't like him. 
<laughs> you know? Not surprising in the slightest. It's about the Lord Commander. The former Lord Commander. Does he have to be? I think if she's able to bring him back, that's going to reinstate her faith. Isn't it? Do you know of any magic that could help him? Yeah. Bring him back. Absolutely. I met a man who came back from the dead, but the priest who did it... Had no powers. It shouldn't have been possible. But it was. It could be, now. It's by the Lord of Light's will, isn't it? I'm not asking the Lord of Light for help. I'm asking the woman who showed me that miracles exist. Period. I think she's going to be able to do it, maybe, because realistically, if not, if it wasn't going to be possible, we wouldn't even be trying. Do you know what I mean? They'd be, they'd be very fast at putting him in a fucking fire and getting rid, you know? I feel like she's going to be able to bring him back. And if she can, then fucking go me, because this brain don't lie. <laughs> Come on, diva. God, how much hair do you need? We're giving, a, giving him a whole fucking manscape. Do we need some pubes too? Give it a little snip snip down there. I'm sure it could do with a little sorting out. I know he's gonna come back alive because we won't be doing all this if not, you know? Logic is telling me he's gonna <gasps> Persis and Gir Persis. Say it again, go on. Persis. I can feel it. Come on, he's gonna he's gonna wake up. We just gotta let her feel defeated first, don't we? Honestly, honestly, have I ever steered you guys wrong? <laughs> Many times, but not this time, right? I fucking knew it, you hoes, I fucking knew it. I am so smart. The thing is with things like this, the more you watch them, I do feel like this show has taught me a lot in terms of like looking for the signs, you know, and trying to kind of predict where things go. I'm really proud of myself, but I could, guys, we, realistically, I feel like most people in the comments are going to be like, with that end scene there, you could kind of see where it was going to go, you know? Like the, one, the thing is, they're not going to linger on a character if they're just going to kill them off. And that's going to be that, you know? They're not going to do that. They're going to hold on to the shock factor of the end of last season and then swiftly move on into the next. They're not going to linger on a character that they got rid of at the end of last season, you know? So, using critical thinking, here we are. He's fucking alive, you bastards. Which just makes total sense, in my opinion. That was really smart of them, story-wise, to allow that to happen. Because, like, they've been kind of hinting to us this whole time that there's something bigger for Jon Snow. And I'm pretty sure that's that was the kind of the, the, the tone for why that other guy kept being able to, like, come back. Because the, the Lord of Light saw fit and, like, he had... I don't know, there was something about him. I can't remember exactly what happened, but... Basically, it was like the whole sense that it really realistically shouldn't have happened and it shouldn't have been possible. But because of who this guy was, it was being allowed to happen, you know? And I feel that was that was that was why I was so gung ho on the fact that he was coming back. But he did in fact die, so realistically he has been dead. But he's just been resurrected. So I was kind of wrong about that, I guess, because I said that he wasn't even going to die, <laughs> I think. Um, but anyway, guys, I'm, I'm not going to poke holes in my theories, right? That was Slay. And I'm very intrigued to see where we go from here, because there's clearly something special about John, which I, which I kind of knew that, you know? But I'm intrigued to see how he's going to play a part in the rest of this moving forward. But yeah, guys, this is going to be the first the first little installment of season six. Sorry it, it took me so long, but hopefully this was worth it. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon with the next installment. Subscribe if you're new, like, comment. It really, really just helped me out. And yeah, bye.